Oh shit, my granny left me them dying too, so that was an additional. Shit, I can't believe it. Girl, you know what's your call? Why you left me and my dad gave me some shit for my woman? So I want to mean no I heart money. Yo brother, I don't even know you personally, but big up yourself, Zine, to be honest. Um, you're the one who inspired me to do this because one night I just sit down, I mean, I scroll through YouTube and I actually saw your, your, your homeless video. And I don't usually watch YouTubers, Zine, but because I could have relate to being homeless at 17, I was like, yo, okay, definitely I got to check out that red, red eye. Big one thing after watching that video, you can ask my girlfriend. I really just not like you know her. I really sat down and binge watch your videos for like a four hour straight, brother. I been. Um, I guess I have to go to the back story of what happened. Uh, so first off, I didn't grow with my birth parents, you know, typical Jamaican father kind of not in the picture, but completely not in the picture. Um, Whatever I'm about to tell you, it's not the pretty story, it's not the fix-up version, I just about to forget telling you, it's straight. Uh, my mother was just the, the average plain old Jane. I didn't live with her. She had her own problems that I'm not going to state and I'm not going to lie and tell you that yo, she was a trying woman, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, by age 12, the world already kind of get chipped off all over the place. I have five siblings, boom, boom, boom. I, for one along with my brother uh we got tripped off to our uncle's house z boom that was like age 12. <sighs> the story is hard to tell it's really hard to tell um so when i was in lower sixth form i attended the cedar grove academy for lower sixth form is what i say because my uncle lives in portmore and all of that uh them time day it was like 2016 so you don't know iphone what iphone iphone and and samsung s6 and 7 did kind of hot them time there you see me i say and media always have a little like huawei a banger like a huawei not the first button phone them but you know you know the huawei them will i'm gonna sell cheap 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 so the first time i could actually get a, a s6 it was a huge upgrade to my brother may i stunt now the camera quality in a them time they did up times 10 is what i said i'm gonna feel like me the freshest kid in the school boom um i got the phone like in october i never have it for long and then i ended up getting robbed in the, the december when i said i got the phone in october i really mean i got the phone october 3rd and by the december 5th me not forget me get robbed zine and my birthday was november the 23rd so it was a huge impact for me because men are really used to them thing they're going on Christmas one. Two, I never get robbed before, so it was a traumatizing experience. The whole rubbish story is a complete other story, but that's what led to what I'm about to tell you. No. Me got smoke. Me not, as I said, I not pretty talk. Me got bun weed. Is what I say. Um And then one day I just choose for light up a spliff in the office. <laughs> Teenager struggle. I was like, maybe, as I say, I, I really just turned 17. By the 23rd, I was like, it's going in December. I really just turned 17, 19, 19. And while I was there, I'm not smoking in the bathroom. I'm not contemplating. I'm not looking on the whole thing where, where we're going. I'm a grimy as hell. And, and I'm an undetectable smoker. So I'm going to leave scent on my fingers and. and I definitely not leave no farmer trees. The most you can do is come, come smell something. As I say, no fierce, no trees. They even know say I'm it here. Boom. Anyways, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to done a bit of farming for a long time. So the brother fall now. And me did come out to the bathroom a long time. As I say, no fierce, no trees. Some girl in my bathroom side and him say, yo, 
Ain't even smell so. Tell the lady in my room. Didn't even know my go on. I didn't call him. He said, Mr. Miller, I don't know. I tell you, I shoot. I tell him I lie. What am I supposed to do? Tell him, say, I lie. I'm supposed to another damn house. So I say, I say, what do you smell? I say, I say, I don't know you. Say, it smell like weed. I say, weed, no, man. Probably a minor play tricks for you. I tell you, shoot. That's how the story goes. I say, a minor play tricks for you. Mm. And I remember that day, I called my brother, I called my cousin, I called my neighbor, I called everybody for come check. No, we just must smell you. Say, all of them say, all of them say yes. My uncle always, he's never really considered himself to be a parent, he just always called himself a facilitator. So, doing this for him was like nothing. Boom, he say, you know, pack everything and leave. And I'm like, what? Poor me, you know? Me in a lower six, me not sure you know what I do with myself. Me already had deal with the trauma. I was re no like genuinely me did get robbed and me did traumatized because of the experience. Me never, I've never been robbed before, and me never really have no body where me could have say yo, mama call and talk to one, you know, explain the situation. My uncle wasn't, he's not that exactly type of person to, you know, listen to your emotions. The most he may do, the most he may do, I just listen for respond. It's what I said, but him didn't really connect with you and him didn't really get what you say. So it was just really me. And and if you know me, I can be a very emotional person. I just might think that I'm gonna feel no way about it. Zin. So boom. And I'm like, brother, okay. You must be joking. And it was a very embarrassing time for me because as I said, my cousin them did it, my auntie them did it, everybody did it. And all of them did hear me get loaded up in the room. It's what I said, as I said, I never have never forgot. Um them time they me that girl, me did done our plans for the link my girl of your place and me did done tell him from the day before. So me think same honestly, me did think same that joke because I'm like, who kick somebody out over something so simple? It's when I say, but then over time I get to realize that some, some parents really on a head chip and I think it's very unreasonable. It's not like he knows a smoker in there's no some light up a split one time, he never considered someone are really unreasonable and I don't really need to get in a shit together. Is when I say when you understand when you deal with teenagers, sorry, not everybody can just go to school and just come right out of the system. Some people have to bring in women, some people have to bond with, some people have to get involved in a gang related shit, and they're, they're expecting you to be there for them, not abandon them. It's a time when they might try to find themselves. They don't know who they be. You're an adult, you, you, you live three times their age. Show them the damn way instead of pushing them out the damn door. Reach out the night now. Well, if I said, well, I'm going to close them, I'm going to tell you, I said, the bed, strip. Nothing other than the closet, nothing other than the dresser. I'm going to come, come see five garbage bags lying off the side of the room. His room. My bad. And let me say from now, nobody feel like I have you for that or nothing else. Or nobody feel like I have up nobody because if and then everybody you know me know and say, yo, Martin is the last person to have up somebody. And the definite my mind is where the last person will get angry. It even fears me today. And I'm like, what the hell, bro? Okay. So you're serious. I need it vex about it. Why? Because I'm like nasty place and I keep my things them kind of sacred. So I need it feel very hurt for come home, come see the wall of my shoes, them, put my damn white clothes, dirty clothes, mix up with clean clothes. I'm a vex and a stand up. I'm sorry, you know, I'm gonna talk to him. I was trying to breathe, but I was trying to talk to him. I really go around there and I said to him, say, yo, you know, give me a chance to explain whatever, whatever. I'm gonna tell you something about that smoke and blah, blah, blah. I did stick to my damn story. I'm gonna tell you something about me. There's one thing. I'm going to stick to my story. I don't like to people about shit these days because I'm <laughs> own man. But, them time, them did you, oh, I'm supposed to just walk up and play and they tell you, yeah, but I light up a spliff in the office. That's not how this shit works. Boom. So me end up sleep on the mattress that night. You see what I say? And the morning, at the talking, wake me up. As I say, I get some load up from, from the night before. Why is Martin still here? So this is where it got all interesting. I then knew that I really had to find somewhere to go. And this is when I find out that adults are, can be really ass. I mean, nobody has an obligation to you. 
and whatever, whatever. But I started calling people, and then clearly, and everybody have them own shit and them own bills to pay them. So, this and but really want to them yard. So, everybody did keep on to find some way for beat around the bush. And honestly, what I prefer people did just be straightforward to me and they tell me no, then to try to beat around the damn bush. Man, I like them something like how I talk straight to everybody, anyways. So, I was back at square one. I'm closing day in a garbage bag. It's the really the second day and it did even more hurtful because it was Christmas tree. You know, Christmas is supposed to be a nice time, time that you spend with family and all and blah blah blah. And I remember what happened. I re I don't remember how exactly, but I know that my clothes ended up by one of the neighbors. Is what I say? Shaquille. Shaquille a good youth and man I tell you like him they actually really good to me because them did actually facilitate me and thing and thing but I one thing I learned is that when you have people place you can't stay too long blah 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 you have to know the time up me never have no permanent plan is what I say but I remember one day him come to me and I say yo brother you can't get your dreams there in the morning because guess what is what I said, build up a pee and them things, blah blah blah. And he was trying to be calm with it and so and not blah blah blah. But I'm not like when people be direct. Boom. Anyways, I'm gonna catch the gist. <sighs> I remember I had a friend up there who chatted, big up yourself always. Is what I said, somebody stop eat at Shaquille place um, often. Like, I did start eating dinner in a um, shawty place. And then I did start going really, I did start go, 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 go at Shaquille place really late. Like out some one o'clock, me I left Shanti yard and them thing there. This is what I say to the point where okay, me I get the gist now from everybody in the household. So yo, a time for your cut. So I, as I say, I really didn't have a plan. Remember, we did leave some of my stuff, some of my stuff, them over a few place, and my laptop had like serious issues. As I said, brother, me really in the middle, a uh, 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 lower six. Me have eyes I deal with. I don't know shit what I'm going to do right now. Zine. My laptop had to be constantly plugged in. But I never want to run up nobody like Bill. For them comes to X, Y, and Z. I'm going to try it one night and remember Shaquille come give me some overt, some covert um, um, explanation as to why I couldn't do that. Is what I'm going to say. Um, I'm going to say two to me to end up start sleeping on the roof. And there was this old carpet on the roof that I had to be sleeping on. And it made it feel it in my chest, particularly because I'm saying, yo. Where I was on the roof, it's an upstairs house, so it was like right beside his room door. So it kind of really kind of come and said, Jano, your room is like right here, and we just the outside of the room, and whatever. But he's a young man like this, that's what I said, he's a strong youth. I mean, I'm mean, nobody get this on me, boom. So me did it on the carpet, I'm a fool with the pan, I'm a type of my SD. Is what I said, I was back to my wow, because as I said, I did rub my phone, and I was back to my wow. Food me depend on me type up my SB and me use the Wi-Fi because I was still connected to the Wi-Fi. Me I use the Wi-Fi. I do research and all of that. And then I remember yeah my stuff was still by Shaquille and then some of them did this somewhere else and everything was kinda all over the place. Me I sleep on Shaquille had me I sleep over Shaquille had me I sleep on roof. But it really just a rotate because I didn't I'm not, I can be a very prideful person, I better tell you straight. I prefer to sleep on the roadside and to feel like I may be a burden to you. And I know them say it was pride of one of the deadliest and whatever, whatever. But guess who? When I not got my name around for say, yo, Martin did whatever, whatever, and blah, 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 overstaying time, rotating. I don't like how my name and people know. I know good something that. Anyway, came and I spent my New Year's Eve on a seat outside in the court while everybody the pop white rum and champagne and fireworks a fire and everybody a scream and all of them something there. The 2017 did really catch me up on a seat outside with my one in my hand and tears in my eye because me never spend Christmas by myself. Me never have no food. It was just a whole uncomfortable um period for me and then me did still have my damn school work them for do. And I remember I was by Shaki place like a couple more days and tell him I say yo yeah you me a time for go back around your uncle and I say alright then cool. I end up back in another place because of Shaquille and thing and thing. <sighs> end up never stayed there for long. Um, while I was there, it was like I was on Facebook at the time, and I met this girl called Bree. <sighs> I always have the highest respect for you and the highest love for you. Things never exactly end well, 
between us and them things, you know what I'm saying? But she played a huge part in the person who I am today, you know what I'm saying? No doubt about that. I met her on Facebook and without talk and everything there. And she she always found it weird because every time she realized say, yo, I was never by the house. I was I never stayed at, at my uncle's place. Zine. Because it was always even when I went back it was an uncomfortable atmosphere. Me no idiot, you know if you talk directly to me, me know when a man no want me in a space, me no fool. Yeah, me man young but me no fool. Now, my brother have this little dirty style where we only have one key. Zine. And him, him never did really uh, do nothing that time like him never did really uh, go to school and me alone that go to school and that go to sixth form and whatever. So me in normally they were home with the key, but in never normally they home they home now they go over one of my friend them go steal with the key. So me reach home and me have to stay on iron. I talked to him a couple times about it. In, in, he's a very unreasonable person. Him, him have my uncle traits. Boom, I try to talk to my uncle about it and decide to him not in a chat night. I mean, I said to him, but I'm not going to leave with the key every time. As I said, I never want me to be in place in a really like me and in a really business. So, one day, I just make sure me reach home early and take the key. Because me want you to see what it is. I make sure wait until it's a day when I don't say I'm going to leave the house and go up on the road and couldn't carry the key. And me just go over the name and call it the key from early because me want you to see what it's like. When me have to come out here and sit down on an island and I wait on you for hours. See? Right, Tilo, who tell me if I go do that thing? I complain to my uncle and I quit with my uncle come and come low and be up. Hey, you can't do that with the key and if you do that one more night, but you never want to go back where you come from. And in my head, I'm like, bro, look how much time him do it and I tell him, say, my dude, blah, blah, blah. But he always had a preference. As I'm saying, I'm not exactly pretty at now. I could feel when I'm about to be kicked out again. I did just know. So I remember I was around my computer doing my SB. So I was around the table and I remember sending the SB off to my teacher and I said to her, yo, just in case I don't get to send you a like final copy, just know that yo, this is it. This is it and it's the best I can do. As I said, I never really have no what for go. And after sending it off, I remember I was taking a break from my SB, so I said, I'm cool, now let's watch a movie. Now, the, the strongest Wi Fi spot, I remember it was in the office, so it was like past, yeah, we had like an office type of thing, so it was like past the living room. And I remember my brother, he was on, he was in the living room, in that watch the TV, and then he fall asleep on the TV, it's still on. I mean, he on my computer, I said, okay, I'm gonna watch a quick movie and then get back to work, you know? You can't just study all day. You have to take a little break. I mean, no, I forget. My uncle came from upstairs. He passed my brother to come around and tell me, cuss me out, or me I run up in bed and just there. I watch movie, pan computer, run up in bed, and I'm like, brother, I'm almost certain. In my head, man, I say, yo, I'm almost certain, say, a TV, but more current than a computer. I'm a brother did a sleep and not even now watch it. And before you turn off the TV and send him in bed, you step past him for come tell me for turn off computer, tell me say you're not unreasonable. I, I think that's what ticked me off and at that very moment when I say yo, my time is coming, my time here is really up. And I don't forget, I call one of my friends from Cedar Grove. Nobody knew what happened. No, none of them. That's one of my friends from Sweden grew and just because I'm a long time friend, I said to her, yo, Abby, some shit is about to go down. There's women I say, you don't know anything. I'm, I'm one of them sense of people. Anytime anything is about to happen, I feel it in my bones. Like, I feel a cold breeze pass through my skin. No breeze not blow, but best believe I feel it. And I'm never usually around with them. So, these are in spirit or whatever they call it. I'm saying, yo, Abby, if anything, best believe. Oh, shit, my girl, they left me them time too. So, that was an additional. Shit, I can't believe it. Get in once you're cold. Why you left me and my dad gave me some shit for me? You know, say that on a soul. My God. Why you turn so? No, sir. Anyways, after that, I remember when they were just a body. They were just a body after that. Anyways, Mr. Abby, if anything, I'm going to just want to start sending some rice, some flour, and some mackerel. I'm going tell you this. And that's why nobody can tell me nothing about my friend. Them. So I say, my friend them real until they prove me wrong. And it's a lot coming from me because number one, I don't normally trust people. 
But I'm a youth friend, they may tell about some man who are 16, 17, then they even touch 18 yet. The man they send my food, the man they convince the mother to take me home, the man they cook for me, and this is why it's very hard for me to particularly listen to adults when them start rant and start feel like give me advice. What you ever do for me in my life? Talk it through now. I'll never hear you do I criticize people and a bunch of people try to convince me, say, oh, you shouldn't have done this and whatever. Oh, whenever you're nobody go to you and say, yo, when did it unnecessary? Now say, yo, me never ramp on my part, zoom us, and I take complete responsibility for that. So, what happened after that? So, I had a friend named Mark. I have, you zoom us, and Mark has still my G. You zoom us, and so I remember I said to Mark, say, yo, are you all one person? Sunday, make a person close them. I'm off on hand, them thing, I'm gonna make them stay over your place. You zoom us, and every morning. I'm going to just come over your place and put them on. No, I never know how I'm going to be it exactly. But, they tell them what, how you do the trick. <laughs> a little they tell them what, a little they tell them and rag. Would have, would have done the trick. Um, so I remember I left for the key again. And when I fought back the night, I'm not even able to pass the bar tube. Pass the, the, the wash tub. The Z name stopped me right at the wash tub and he said, Yo, give me the key and go back where I come from. So I just walk, go back right around a brie and it wasn't a very spacious place. This is what I say. So I had to sleep on the floor, but everybody's really that's the most comfortable I slept in like months or years. And I, I, I lived like that for a couple of weeks, well, and thing and thing. This is one of my many kicked out experiences. I do have other kicked out experiences. This is just the one that connect with me the, connect with me the most. This is what I say, because I've never felt so alone in my life and people really show me how trashy they be. But yeah. I remember um, I ended up missing the entire semester, the entire second semester because I didn't have any money to go back to like sixth form and them thing there. Never have no money at all for me. I mean, for tell you, them ten day, me account silver, me have one church shoes wherever I stop bus out, ever I bus out and, and Patek they really do the trick every time it bus out. Some serious Patek and when Patek's done, a crazy glow start work. So I say something did really have the truth with them time there. Mr. the entire semester. Remember when my friend them said about them, say, yo brother, my nose here has studied the whole time, you know, hombre. I shall you come for shelter, but that's why you know their school. Now, as I say, if you see me in school, you don't even know that I got you none. Because me as a man, you know, wear my stress by my face. You know, I feel like I come from some suburbs, uptown, chill out area, because I really put myself together when I go on the road. I mean, even not brag, it's just that that's how I grow myself. Prideful. I'm in a big about it. Shout out to everybody who made it this far. In the video, like, subscribe, share. As I can see, me I look down most of the time because I feel like if I look up, I'm gonna start crying. Um, so, the next time.